Let's go to Steve Burness. He's the CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Chicago. He is joining us. There he is. Nice to see you, Steve. Good afternoon. All right. So tell us about this, uh, what you're calling a scam. You've given this one particular company an F. What was going on? What's been happening? Well, basically, consumers are coming to us. Like Ben said, about 100 came to us recently telling us they're not receiving their gift cards or the money that was promised to them. So many times consumers around this time of the year are trying to unload their gift cards they got for Christmas. And unfortunately, there's some companies out there that are not delivering what was promised to them. So what should you do if you do have gift cards that you're just not going to use and you're looking to unload them for some, some sort of value? The key, obviously, first, Ben, is to check with the Better Business Bureau and other sources about the company first and make sure you find information that you can trust them. So many times consumers don't do business with the company because they don't see anything online. They say, yeah, it's a good company. I don't see anything bad. But Ben, one thing that to do for consumers can do with the unload these cards is actually try to sell it to your friends or family members first and foremost. I would not go to those social media sites, those marketplaces where you can unload them there because you never know who you're selling to. It's almost like selling somebody down an alley, you would do the same thing on, online as well because you don't know who these people are. And Steve, it seems like every scam that we've heard of through the years is that much worse mm -hmm. this, this time around in 2020. Like uh, scam artists are really taking advantage of people. Do you see it being worse than before? I do see it worse. The Better mm -hmm. Business Bureau sees it worse. We're seeing more complaints coming into the Better Business Bureau, but people are down on their luck and they're yeah. trying to trade in these cards for cash because they don't want to buy anything. They want the cash instead. And unfortunately, some of these companies charge, you know, 20 to 30 percent more for these gift cards or take away from you rather, and you're losing some money. So it's best to sell to your family and friends. And yes, the complaints are increasing. All right, let me get to some specifics because one of the things that I read is that they're actually asking you to input some of the gift card information onto that website. And so they, in essence, have the pin number, all of the information that they need to use that card. Exactly. A lot of consumers don't realize you give the information about the card, the PIN number, everything about the card. They can immediately deplete the uh, information on the, on the card and take all the funds out of the card. Even scam websites are popping up asking for information. And they say, well, you've got to verify. You've got to give us the information. And once they do, the card is being Jeez. depleted yeah. of its funds. So if you have been ripped off in this way, is there any remedy? Is there anything you can do? Obviously, you could file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau and other sources as well, but complain. And first and foremost is to check them out before giving your business. And that's my biggest frustration in my 33-year career has been from consumers who call us after when it's too late. Call us before and try to load these cards up to your friends and family instead. Yeah, do your research. Mm -hmm. Do your research, hey, as you say. One last question, Steve. As we're talking about gift cards, do people actually end up using them? Because uh, we have a drawer that's got gift cards from places that... I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> our kids have outgrown. About 6% of the consumers uh, don't use their gift cards. They put them in a drawer and they let it go. So we advise consumers to use it as fast as possible, and especially during this pandemic. A lot of more companies are going out of business, and yeah. unfortunately, you could lose your money on those gift cards. So it's best to use them. Don't put them in a drawer or send them to Lourdes and me, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I know that a lot of times after a certain amount of time, they actually lose some of the value. Like maybe after a year, if you haven't used it, they'll, they'll lose 20 or 30 percent of the value that was on that card, right? The, that has changed recently. The law has changed, mm -hmm. so they, they don't actually go away like they used okay. to in the past. So oh, okay. it's best to look at the expiration date on the back of the card because the big print giveth, the little print taketh away. There you go. There <laughs> you go. You, All right. Steve Burness with the Better Business Bureau here in Chicago. We appreciate your time. My pleasure.